Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Aldemoni and I'll be conducting a presentation on aircraft systems, specifically the autopilot system. The autopilot system, more commonly referred to as automatic flight control system, was introduced in 1912 by Lawrence Sperry. Inspired by his father Alma Sperry, who invented the gyro compass that was used on naval vessels as a means of navigational assistance, is highlighted as a monumental achievement in the marine defence industry. This solved the issue of magnetism associated with ordinary compasses. Going off the original design and being inspired by what the Wright brothers achieved, Lawrence Sperry initiated a three-axis system that would manage pitch, roll and yaw. The successful functionality of his invention landed him first place in the airplane safety competition, simultaneously earning a number of contracts both military and commercial. Fast forward 100 years, we now have what is referred to as the modern autopilot system. Its construction is made up of a number of sensors that are connected to a processor or a microcontroller, that when a command is given by the pilot, the autopilot system is programmed to make the appropriate changes by deflecting flight control mechanisms, automatically setting the correct thrust output, and communicating with other flight instruments through actuation made up of a pneumatic, hydraulic, or mechanical setup. The feedback is in the form of the aircraft making the correct adjustments to stay on flight path or return to stability when hindered by interference of environmental changes or when the pilot receives new instructions that deviate from the original flight path. Advantages of the autopilot flight control system Less pressure on the pilot to fly manually for long hours Less fuel consumption Increase the capability of the autopilot system by adding sensors that work collectively Customer satisfaction in smoothing out unnecessary inputs or outputs associated with human intervention and efficiency in the overall operation of the aircraft. How has the autopilot system advanced and what industries are dominating? Advanced autopilot systems have been improved by integrating fuzzy logic controllers. In the current market of commercial, defense or even civilian, the capabilities have increased tremendously, meaning that incorporating additional sensors requires autopilot systems to analyze and crunch more data which leads to an output. This is where fuzzy logic is integrated as it breaks down large quantities of data to initiate the correct response. The correct response is based on what the pilot commands. For example, a UAV is conducting a flight mission which requires audio and visual transmission. The aircraft has to lock in on a target which could be a location, object or person. Identify whether that is the correct target and then initiate a course of action which may be a supply drop, landing or if not, continue with the flight path. The module shown here is a breakdown of how the circuitry is designed. As you can see, the gyroscopic instruments are made up of an accelerometer, pitostatic sensor, which work in conjunction with other flight instruments. The last module being the fuzzy logic is supposed to react the same way a human would if they had control. This may require coding knowledge of the terrain and assigning values based on responses that affiliate the knowledge. Air traffic control and fully autonomous UAVs. The main challenge of integrating unmanned drones within the framework of air traffic control is sharing the airspace with other commercial transport vehicles and not sustaining any potential collisions or flight path crossovers. On June 21st of 2016, the FAA issued a regulation of a service ceiling for UAV drones. A limited payload requirement is set. This ensures that the UAVs will fly below the altitude of other transport vehicles. Traffic Collision Avoidance System known as TCAS and Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast known as ADSB two vital systems that must be implemented in order to successfully operate within the air traffic control network. As these systems are used for aircraft to communicate with each other and also the ground air traffic station. Future Developments Wireless Power Charging Through laser beam technology or officially referred to as laser beam transfer, a laser beam of a specific wavelength and frequency is shot at a UAV's photovoltaic cells. This process of wireless charging delivery is used on fixed wing and rotary top UAVs. The goal is to reach an unlimited endurance outcome. Advancement in solar operated UAVs Photovoltaic cell based UAV charging is essential for research purposes. Companies have invested millions in research to further optimize the efficiency of photovoltaic cells. An example of achieving cost effectiveness while maintaining efficiency is investigating material engineering. Studies show that monocrystalline silicon photovoltaic cells are low cost and highly efficient, in addition offering high flexibility which makes integration into UAVs simpler. As you can see, a comparison of monocrystalline silicon photovoltaic cells from different manufacturing companies are shown below. As you can see, the Goshaman solar technology seems to be leading with a weight of approximately 1 kg per meter cubed, producing 22.6% of efficiency. These technological advancements are what will make air taxi and drone delivery on a fully autonomous level achievable. 
In addition, certification will be required to communicate with air traffic control ground units. The future applications in the commercial market are UAVs and MAVs being used as a logistical approach for delivering supplies in hard to reach places, parcel delivery, and potential air travel. For now, the military application is communication and surveillance, emergency operations that require intervention, for example, search and rescue, as well as disaster monitoring. Thank you for watching.